Alright folks, so I'm going to, let me get this out of the way, I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, kind of my first impressions on um, this new Fiskars paper trimmer. It's got the uh, steel, or aluminum, is it steel or aluminum? Aluminum cut rail. That's right here. And um, I've had, this is the second one I've had of this Fiskars with the wire guide. <coughs> now, um, the first one was the same size as this. And um, this part, the, the wire broke within um, days, within days of purchasing the, uh, the cutting board. So I contacted Fiskars and they sent me a whole new, um, uh, a whole new piece to fix that. They did it with no questions asked and they did it right away. Um, then about, oh, a year later, the wire frayed and broke again. So, um, by the time I would buy a new one of these, um, it was cheaper just to buy this piece, this smaller cutting board. Uh, now, the problem with this is if I put the name up here, the blade, so that the, the name is facing me so I can read the, the name, Fiskars, that puts the blade, or the swing arm up here. I, I don't much like the swing arm being up here, I prefer it down here. So in order for me to use it, I have to flip it over and all the numbers are everything are upside down. Not a big deal. I can I can read upside down. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, the blades are relatively inexpensive, and they're available everywhere that I shop for craft supplies. <coughs> that being said, it's kind of a small board. It's um, I prefer having a wider base for wider or larger papers for stability purposes and such. I do like that it has the rubber feet, it keeps it from moving around too much um, and all that. So I'm going to keep this, but I was looking, trying to find this earlier today and I had misplaced it because it is smaller. Um, I had misplaced it, so it took me a while to find it. Um, again, I'm not getting rid of this. I, I really do like it um, and I use it quite often. Um, but I still need a wider, larger uh, platform, so I went ahead and Got this one. It's got the same feet and everything. Let me open this up. And I got it with my 40% off coupon at um, Hobby Lobby. that loose piece of paper has any information on it. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. Um, just miserable sick. Okay, the swing arm, I notice, is the same. It's going to be upside down for the way I like to work, and that's fine. No big deal, just like the other one. I do like the larger platform. It still has the plastic um, on it, but I'm just going to leave that. Um, this still flips up, but I think because this isn't going to let it let the uh, blade kind of wander a little bit. Not that the uh, wire guide does much, but it does kind of wander a little bit just because this um, little arm um, bends, but this one this does not. So that's going to help me make straighter cuts, which is nice. Um, I did notice when I purchased the. Uh, the cu the cutting board or paper trimmer rather I keep calling it cutting board and I'm not sure why but um, I did notice that I couldn't find any replacement blades um, available uh, at the Hobby Lobby that I purchased it could be that they sold them all out could be that they don't have them yet I'm not sure <coughs> I'm not all that worried about it. I will find them somewhere. If they don't have them available online, I can probably find them somewhere. Um, they've got the same blades. I noticed that they're not the titanium blades, um, which is kind of what I prefer, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And it's also got the scoring uh, blade. 
Um, I will probably take the blade out. Uh, let's see. So the blade change, you do the blade change down here, and that's because, why is it down there? That is because it's got a little groove here. Maybe that's going to help take it off. Let's find out. Why is it down there only? I'm not sure. I don't like um, uh, scoring blades. They, they don't really help me much. Um, let me see. You lift it from back to front to remove the blade. So, almost there we go. I'm going to remove this. It's probably very much the same. Let me get it back on there. I have to change the blade. There it is. By resting the left slide into the rail groove. Uh, left side. There we go. Easy. <coughs> I'm doing it backwards, so the left side was the right side. But anyway, it locks the uh, the arm locks. That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see how I like it. Again, I'm using it backwards because that just feels better to me having the measurements against me. Okay, I'm going to assume that the cut is right up against that rail. So, and this is just for my project life. I've got a little calendar that I printed off. Um, I found it online by Googling um, printable Sunday to Monday calendar, and I printed it uh, using my printer's settings for a number 10 envelope to make them small enough. So catches a little bit, but it's a nice clean cut, and it does cut right up against that rail, so that's nice. I'm going to open it, see if I can get some nice thin cuts. If I need to cut here. Ooh, vehicles. <coughs> It's funny because you know how Mog is always all over my, um, all over my desk when I'm when she's out. Well, Frack is over here, totally minding his own business and completely oblivious to what I'm doing. Um, being very respectful of my personal space. <laughs> now, Mog definitely is not. <laughs> She does not give a darn about personal space at all. I'm looking to see how close it cuts to the actual um, aluminum arm, and it cuts right up against it. So use that as your, if you're trying to compare it to the wire guide, use that very, very edge as the, uh, like you would um, the wire guide. That'll tell you exactly where you're cutting. Now I left a little fine line of white along the edge here. I'm going to see if I can't shave off a tiny little bit. Just the teeniest, tiniest little bit. See if it'll let me. Yeah, it did. It cut off this tiny, tiny little piece. So that's nice. Um, <coughs> I am actually very happy with this. Um, I also found another printable. That's on the computer. Uh, found another printable in a different design. Um, that I'm going to use in next week's layout for Project Life. So I'm going to cut it out and trim it down. Um, I made myself a couple copies just so I would have them handy, and I printed them off on uh, just cardstock. I got it Office Depot. Simple. Uh, Saturday or Sunday through Saturday. Nice. 
I really like how this is cutting paper down. The cuts are clean. It does seem to drag a little bit, but that could be because of how I'm pulling it. Um, so overall, I really like it, and I <coughs> excuse me. I hope that it lasts, um, and I hope that I can find some new blades because I think that's the only part I'm gonna have problems with um, wearing out because it seems to be a really sturdy um, cutting board or paper trimmer. Uh, again, I don't like the scoring, so I'm probably just going to put that away for maybe Hannah would like to use it for something. Um, but even that seems to be pretty well made. Uh, I'm going to have to look for more blades because uh, I couldn't find any the other day at Hobby Lobby. I might find them at Michael's. I might find them Joann's or maybe even online somewhere. Probably Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I guess that's my first impressions. I'm not going to try to put a whole bunch of paper through it at once. Uh, like stacking up paper and cutting a bunch. Because uh, I didn't like doing that with my other cutting board. Uh, more than two sheets at a time really wasn't any good. So, at least I wasn't very happy with it. Um... Let's see. It's worth it if you get the 40% coupon or any coupon. Uh, Hobby Lobby has the 40%. I don't, um, I don't think all the time, but at least sometimes Michael ha Michael's has a 50% off or some sort of coupon that you can use, and they have their Fisker stuff on sale now and then. So watch for that. It would be it's most worth it if you use a coupon. Um, Again, they stand behind their product. They they didn't waste any time in getting me a replacement for the other board that I had. Um, the bigger version of the wire board. I'm going to keep the, this one because I like it. It It's really handy having a smaller one. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially if you take it onto crops or whatever. Um, or don't always craft at a desk. Maybe you're doing it in the living room in front of TV while you know watching TV or whatever. So, um, anyway, that's my review on the, uh, the new, or newest, I don't know if there's one newer, but the newest one I have, uh, paper trimmer with the aluminum, uh, cut rail. Um, I really, really like it. I think at, at some point there, this might need some sort of, uh, care to keep it smooth, but... Really, I like it. So, two thumbs up from me. Um, if you give it a shot, let me know how you think, how you like it. Because again, I really like it. Uh, <coughs> I gotta go take some medicine. Well, and but I'm leaps and bounds better than I was before. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.